Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, July 9th, 2022 at um 7:50 a.m. in the morning. Well, I didn't turn on the light so that I can um my video can upload faster. And I guess I'm going to try to not talk um a whole hour for this video. <clears throat> so, um so I mean yesterday I thought well even the day before yesterday they made it like as if they gave hints that it was going to rain and yesterday morning I think it rained but I thought it was supposed to rain yesterday evening or last night but I guess they canceled on that too and I don't know if it rained overnight and then today I have to check out the hotel at 11 and be back on the streets i have to check out the hotel and be back on the streets <clears throat> and then it's supposed to rain later on to, tonight or in the middle of the night earlier tomorrow morning and then it's supposed to rain every day for i guess the next 10 days it might do some raining today i'm not sure but, you know, um, I have a little bit of money left, but not enough to do another hotel night because the prices are outrageous. They're double. So I'm not going to say the hotel I'm at, but certain hotels, you know, I remember in 2005 before Hurricane Katrina, it would be 19.95 a night. You know, hotels. And to, uh, hotels used to be like 1995. Even Holiday Inn or something like that used to be 1995. No, no, Holiday Inn used to be like $59.99 or $60. And people used to say that was expensive. But then in 2007 in Denton, Texas, they had like a um a motel called Desert Sands. And that was thirty nine ninety nine a night, like forty dollars a night, and that was a motel, and that was after after Hurricane Katrina, and it was in two thousand seven. So, certain motels, you see, they'd be like seventy five dollars a night now, or they might be four hundred a week. They might be four hundred a week. So, um, you know, dang, I remember, and then, shucks, also right before Hurricane Katrina, um, gas prices were like 99 cents, because I remember I rented a car, and I remember gas prices was 99 cents a gallon. Now gas prices being like seven dollars and stuff in certain places, like wow. But then the cost of living going up, but people's wages aren't really increasing that bad, and you wonder why so many people are homeless. And, and they want to make the strict uh, three and a half times the rent rule that you can work a full time twelve of a $13 an hour job plus get Social Security on top of that and it's still not enough to meet the 300 I mean the, I mean the three and a half times the rent for a $700 apartment it's unreal it's unreal you know so um that's one that's something that's holding me back and we know it's part of the Illuminati conspiracy by design. The government ain't trying to help better the world. They trying to destroy it because they work for Satan. And and they've been so systematically and gradually trying to destroy the world. But now they're increasing the world destruction at faster speeds. You know, at lightning speed pretty much now. You know. 
So um, they're increasing, you know, the the world, the speed of the world destruction. They want to destroy humans as much as possible. Um, I didn't realize that Hillary Clinton was a um, covert racist. You know, so um, but she's all kinds of other criminals too. But but people. People, you know, they 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 respect doggone Hillary Clinton because her of her um political position of power. She can have respect. She's done far worse things than I have done. You know, and and Donald Trump too, and Joe Biden also. All of them bastards. Obama too. Oh, but because their positions of elite power Candy Grand Prix gets more hatred than Joe Biden you know I mean so I mean um so yeah well, I don't get to eat trout that much, you know, you know, fish, trout, rainbow trout, you know, and, and I barely get to eat seafood that much. So, I was able to have me a rainbow trout dinner, you know, where I got it with my lunch and then saved it for later, and then ate it for dinner last night. And my dinner was real good last night. But, you know, um, and no, it wasn't no $25, $35, $45. You know, I can't even afford and don't eat that, eat like that. Y'all think that because a picture of the food looks good, y'all think it's expensive. If I can show y'all a picture of some, um, you know, an enchilada, an enchilada dinner with beans and rice on the side and a drink. Y'all sit there and think it must be $35, $45 because it's decorated attractively. No, that might be like $7.99 or $8. <clears throat> you know, I can't even afford a doggone salmon dinner. A salmon dinner would cost like thirty dollars, which I can't. Oh wow, they just alerted me a risk of severe weather. They're alerting me a risk of severe weather, and it's dark in here. Like I can tell, it's dark outside. So um, well. It would cost like two hundred dollars to stay here another night that I can't afford and don't have the money for. So, I don't, I mean I don't know how other homeless people survive, you know, in such weather where there's lightning, thunderstorms, and um, if people tell you if there's flash flooding, then um, go to higher ground. But if I were to try to do that. Go to some place where there's, you know, an upstairs. And, the, I mean, I would get banned from the place for trespassing. So I don't have much of a sleep spot. I mean, a safe sleep spot for when it rains. But I survived on the streets many nights in 2019 and 2020. Well, no, um, 2018. I, I mean, I was, spent um you know time homeless on the streets in cold weather and also and where you know me spending time homeless on the streets and weather so cold that it feels like my blood inside of my body is turning into slush and trying to free and like like as if I'm about to die die of being frozen 
<clears throat> and then it's the worst when you when you that cold and then it has nerd to freaking rain too. And then you can't get any place comfortable or warm. And all your belongings are wet and cold. And nobody really cares about you trying to get warm. They're so busy trying to criminalize you. You could have been just had, got out of the hotel room the night before and ran out of your money and had a shower that morning. And then later on that, that evening, you'd be cold with cleaner clothes. And they don't care. Just because you have a backpack and a sleeping bag, you're not allowed because they think you're dirty just like everybody else. You know, but I, if it weren't for my social security or me asking for help, I guess, I probably would be forced to be dirty like everybody else, <clears throat> you know, but, you know, I, I I need to work back on that blog that I did talking about my OCD and homelessness. I need to add on to it, you know. Um, probably do a part two, but, um, I was put, trying to put my all into it and take my time and just work on that, my OCD and homelessness and how it's been affecting me and stuff, you know, but they have times when they have, when I've been in rich folks area and there might be a restaurant that's dirty, and um, I'm thinking about doing a little blog post on that, too. So um, one thing that's good about being a blogger is, you know, you can update and edit certain things, you know. You can update and edit. So it's like <clears throat> I write short stories and blogs, and I've written certain ebooks, and I would like to do novels as well. But everybody's trying to discourage me at every turn. And then the ones who do um, try to say your writing is so great, it seems like it's all fake and flattery. I mean, fake flattery to falsely get my hopes up. <clears throat> and it's like I can't even find really genuine people who really do think I'm a good writer. It's like now I don't know what to think or believe. And I'm feeling highly discouraged. But then they'll make it like as if I'm a fool if I continue writing. Like, the perps are narcissistic enough that they want to force me to quit writing. You don't have, you're at entitled that you think that you have the authority to boss and control a stranger who, who, who doesn't even know you and will never meet you in person. You know, so the videos that I did talking about that fake friend yesterday. Um, within the past couple of days, they made sure I got mostly, most videos, I got no thumbs up and 11 massive thumbs, probably more than that now, 11 or more massive thumbs down. But if anyone, like those online perps who have mock videos about me, oh, they get like 65 thumbs up for mocking and laughing at me and people who I, I never done you anything. I never did you anything at all. You know, but I was too tired last night and I thought I was going to try to go to bed early, but I ended up not going to bed until close to midnight or after 11 o'clock. I was going to do it, do my own separate video, but I'll just say it here. That guy that calls himself Brandon Q Kaiser, something like that. Is it Brandon K or Brandon Q? The reason why I would think it's Brandon K because um, he, he's Hispanic, and que is what in Spanish. So I don't know if his name is Brandon Que or Brandon Q. But Brandon Q. Kaiser, and I forgot the last, you know, um, he used to call himself just simply Brandon Que or Brandon Q. So did, I'll just say Brandon Q, okay? So um, this Brandon person, he's Hispanic, and... I'm going I'm to say he's a fake T.I. perp, and I don't know why he subscribed to me. He's made a few smart-ass comments on my, um, on my videos, and I had to block him a long time ago. Well, I unblocked him one time and gave him another chance, and he says I'm smart-ass, and I had to block him again. You know, you see, I have grace and mercy. 
I'm merciful and forgiving, dog. But then I had to realize you're definitely a perp. So, he what he did was, I noticed yesterday, I looked at his profile, and I, I saw that he was subscribed to everyone, every fake T.I. perp who has done videos trying to destroy me and, and lie on me. So, um, and then I'm not the, I, oh, wow, shucks, the dog on vertigo. <clears throat> so then what, what else he did was, um, uh, he, he would do stuff like profess to be a targeted individual and act like he's showing proof of his gang stalking. But he calls other professed targeted individuals, he calls them mentally ill and bullies people. So he's also following perp perps that harass me too. Like he's following um, Stefan Adams, which, who is no targeted individual. Why are you following an agent? But you call everybody else a perp and an agent. So, um, he's following all these perp agents who, um, who harass me and following me, subscribe to me too. <clears throat> so he's, you know, he's, you know, calls people mentally ill and bullies people and, and, but then falsely accuses them of being an agent. You know, and he looks like he's so damn young, like he's, uh, I don't know, like 20, 21 years old. He looks not that far off from a child, from a young kid. So, um, I wanted to say that, you know, so, um, but anyway, I was able to get better rest. I had to keep peeing a lot in the, throughout yesterday and the middle of the night. So, um, I feel sad to have to go back on the streets and not get proper rest. So, you know, I wonder if it's doing a worse hurricane and the hotels are charging $200. Are y'all still going to refuse to help me? I mean, I don't think it's a hurricane, right, you know, this weekend or whatever. But I'm just saying, um, just, you know, a question <clears throat> that if, you know, there was such a bad hurricane, I, I mean, they think, oh, Candy burned her bridges or whatever. But it's like, I'm not working for the enemy. I'm not working for Satan. You know, I'm trying my best as a Christian. You, you know, but when I uncover narcissistic fake T.I. perps or people who start to act like a perp, you know, if, if you perp me, but then you falsely accuse me of perping you, but then you try to give me lectures on Treating people how I want to be treated. Well, you talk about other people perping you. Well, you turn around and perp people. So you're the one who's not doing treating people how you want to be treated. And you act entitled to have a God complex and, and try, act entitled to police people's lives and, and punish people with plagues, with God's plagues. <clears throat> But, you know, it's like, <clears throat> I don't, I don't want to get close, like, on the phone or whatever, or form any more friendships with people from YouTube no more. Mostly everybody has turned, flipped, and became fake. And they hide it so stealthily, and they hide it so well, you're not going to be a saved Christian and, you know be everything got to be covert and secret you got to be stealthy with everything everything got to be hidden and but you just put on a mask in front like you're so perfect i admit my flaws and i apologize for them you know i don't hide anything really 
the only thing I might hide is, is this, you know, to protect myself. You know, so you see, they just slammed the door. Like, say, for example, like yesterday, a couple of videos I didn't make them private because I didn't want people to know where I was at. Because if I showed, I mean, because the perps were right there and I couldn't hide the dog on sign, but the perps were right there in front of the business sign. So the, the online person would have called up the place of business and told, oh, look, Candy's filming your customers. No, those perps that those perps that wait in their vehicles and then I walk nearby, those aren't customers. They're trespassers. And I've seen it time and time again at hotels, motels, restaurants, library, whatever. They don't even be visiting the doggone library. But then they're gang stalkers who stealthily um, back in and park with their bright lights. But then they want to hide stealthily, but at the same time, bright their lights on to you. And then you be busy listening to your Christian songs or reading the Bible or looking at something on the Internet or watching a vid YouTube video. Or you be tweeting on Twitter or working on a blog or a short story or something. And then you look up and then, you know, lights are just randomly all of a sudden super bright in your face. Or if it's a sun, sunny day and you sitting somewhere chilling outside because you ain't got nowhere to go. And you're waiting on a library to open and you're sitting down um, and then somebody parked near you all you see is like a presence you you notice a presence or a shadow while you're looking down and then you look up and perps um pass by filming you and i heard that when they pass by in their cars filming you with tinted windows in their car they're human traffickers making a whole bunch of money off of you so i'm not tied to or connected with the occult any cults at all, I'm not tied, well, not anymore. I got out of that fake IDMR cult. And I'm not tied to or connected with Freemasonry. I'm not tied to or connected with any group or organization. I'm just fighting for my life by myself every single doggone day. I don't know where a fusion center is. I don't work for the fusion centers. I do not work for the government. I do not work for InfraGuard. I'm sitting here suffering this and showing proof. And I feel like if you see this evidence and you still don't believe me, you are a fucking perp. Or you still feel like you don't believe me? Well, how is it that you showing footage of your gang stalking? I'm going through the same thing you're going through. And then you say, oh, Candy's perping me because we both, you know, like, if you had a red car with one headlight passed by you earlier that morning and I had such a thing, you know how common that is with us targets? So how could you falsely say that me showing, you know, me showing footage of that, that, oh, Candy's perping me because she showed the same thing. Well, how about you perping me because you're showing the same thing? Oh, no, I'm not. Well, we both experienced this targeting, so why the hell are you bullying and picking on me? That's why I say professed targeting individuals cannot be part of them 144,000 that's insane and the the popular fakes have made it the TI community into an elitist cult I don't fit in I'm ejected and kicked out of the targeted individual community that elitist fake TI perp cult the popular fake TI perp cult Because the TI community in general has sold out. And that's when it became an elitist cult. And we're not allowed to speak out against our abuse and suffering and stuff like that. And then nobody wants to hear it. But then you listen to other targeted individuals. But when I do, oh, it's a attention-seeking pity party and you want people to feel sorry for you. Well, do you say that about other targets who are showing their stuff? You just want to look for excuses to hate me because you're jealous for some reason. And maybe you did sell out and being both targeted and perped. I don't know. But I know damn sure, I promise you, I'm uncorrupted.
I am an uncorrupted targeted individual. And then so many people who have flipped and turned against me, they have even acknowledged that <clears throat> Candy is like one of the realest TIs out there. Or Candy is only the one, the one few, you know, one of the few real ones out there left. And maybe they hate me because of that because they know damn sure they're fake. I don't know. But all I know is I have no choice but to ride solo how people will say ride solo and um just be alone and i'm not forbidden or not allowed to have friends or support but you know i'm glad i was able to get a two-day break off the streets because i needed i also needed some time to um re mentally recuperate from that loss of that fake friend i'm shocked and I felt like I would be more agitated and lashing out, you know, on the streets. I felt like I needed a break off the streets and also some rest. So, um, so it's a little after 8.15 and, um, I, I didn't, I mean, I, Guess I'm not gonna do laundry. I'll just save it for another day. Cause um, I mean I already hand washed my clothes, you know, a couple of days ago. At the beach, but I will take a shower. I promise. But um, so I'm gonna have to go back on the streets. And I know narcissistic abusers would say Candy got nerve to ask for some two hundred dollars for a hotel room. So I ain't gonna even ask. But that. How, how the prices be that expensive on weekends, but I think by Sunday they go back down. Sometimes Sunday, sometimes Monday. But you know, I have a job interview on um, Monday, and I'm very nervous because I really don't want to deal with co workers. You know, and. And I'm sitting here wondering, how, how the hell if you perp and abuse somebody and then do videos wanting to straighten people out and try to discipline, use the Bible to straighten people out and discipline and chastise people after you perped and abused me. And then, you know, people be ignoring the shit out of me, but, you know, certain people... The, the narcissistic ones they get the, they get the they get their dog on attention and popularity you know so um I'm it's like basically I'm on here you know I, I basically was on here trying to connect with other like on social media and YouTube trying to connect with other targeted individuals which I can no longer do connect with them and share my experiences and then after the you know what started over two years ago the, I mean then I started to ask started to have no choice but to ask for financial help and it was hard to get a job even then like I went 2020 without being allowed having getting to get any job at all in 2020. I didn't get to work at all. Nobody hired me at all in 2020. Even before the You Know What started, um, I was trying to look for housing. They stood me up and played with me. They stood me up and played me about the housing. It's like they don't really, they, they ain't trying to help. They, they mainly ain't trying to help certain groups of people. So, um... And I heard that they just opened another men's shelter. But what about a woman's? But then they exploit and take all your money. Or they or they mob you out of there. After you paid your seven, eight hundred dollars to stay at a shelter. And then can't even eat what you want and pay to live in prison. And you can't even come and go as you please. All these prison like rules and stuff, you know? So, <clears throat> one thing a fake, a narcissistic fake truther would do, 
is that they'll call you attention and pity seeking or, or say you play the victim. You know, just like them fake mental health people do. That's why I avoid the mental health system. So if they want to say you seek pity and attention and stuff, um, it's like a fake truther, they'll pretend to act like they're speaking against psychiatry and the mental health system. But then when you get into an argument with them, they'll tell you you need medication or you you need help and you're sick and crazy. Like Uniquely Made Warrior, she would speak against psychiatry and the mental health system too, but, but now she's trying to say that I need meds, that I need medication. Now I'm crazy and schizophrenic and stuff. I'm just mind-boggled about her abusive narcissistic perps they pretend to be Christian, pretend to be fighting against this system, but then when they get mad at me, I'm all this attention-seeking and money-hungry and crazy and need medication. You know, but and you do this, to bully and abuse your own black people like this. Don't call me sister. If, if you feel like, you know, I don't even deserve to eat just because you have an issue with me. <clears throat> but I was saying that um, people act like as if they have um, less respect for me because I'm in a position where I'm forced to be dependent and needy and asking for help. But I think if I had a, you know, if I had a stabilized, better job, I think that less people would hate me, you know. But what if I did get a, a job decent enough that, you know, if I could, you know, try to pay people back. But then again, I heard that when people donate, they usually do it out of the kindness of their heart and don't expect anything in return. But I dealt with these narcissistic control freaks who would try to donate and then make it like as if I got to owe them something in return. And they demand that. They demand that I owe some, them something in return. Or they want to um, try to just get brownie points or credit. And they don't even just do it out of the kindness of their own heart. You know. So. Um, so I don't know how much bad weather I got to suffer out in tonight or any of these next few days. You know, and my money is somewhat just about ran out. And I know it's already like, what is it, the ninth? But my $50 credit, I mean, the $50 deposit from that other hotel was credited the, the day before yesterday. And it showed up in my account yesterday. Sometimes it take a few days. So that was the quickest. <clears throat> so this hotel I'm at, um... I don't have to pay a deposit. And it's about the same price as the other hotel. It's the same price as the other hotel throughout the week. You know. So this is the same price of hotel throughout the other hotel. I mean, I'm sorry. This is the same price as the other hotel. <clears throat> it's the same price as the other hotel. And then... um. It costs the same amount, but the other hotel does not have laundry. It does not have a refrigerator or freezer. I mean, I'm sorry, refrigerator or microwave. It doesn't have microwave, refrigerator, or laundry. Plus, they charge you a deposit. And then the manager at that place telling me I'm that I'm um wasting money by ordering. I mean, by doing a different app. I mean, at least here you got a dog on um. You got a refrigerator and a microwave, and there's laundry on site, and a dog on pool at that for the same price of that place that they just have like a little coffee. Oh, and they also have breakfast here. So this has way more amenities over here than over there. But you're talking, you, I have to hear a narcissistic lecture about wasting my money. I mean, they got some more stuff over here, and I don't have to pay a deposit. 
for the same price. So go somewhere. So, um, you know, I also don't like it when I go through a, a crisis as a targeted individual and another professed target who I thought would think would be a friend. If they want to say that my crisis with the perps that, oh, they don't want to hear it because they feel like, oh, you brought it on yourself. But then I got to hear them, their complaints when they go, get, go through an argument. You know, when they go through an argument with the perps, they want me to be there to support them. But then when I go through an argument with the perps, I got to be punished with suffering on my own. Because they say, oh, you brought it on yourself or you're the one who created this drama. Or you should have just walked off, been the better person and walk off. But, they de but then you cussing people out and threatening to kill them. And trying to fight them and stuff. I just can't believe how people are doing nowadays. Like people are being such unfair hypocrites nowadays. And some people who act, they're narcissistic enough to act like they think they're, that their discernment is better and bigger and higher than Jesus. But then you see they're being deceived and fooled. And they got some people who barely know you and profess to be Christian. And this is your first time coming across me or your first time meeting me. And you trying to, you know, act like you just know for a fact that, that I never read my Bible or pray. Or they assume that, you know, oh, all you do is beg and complain all day. You don't never pray. You don't know what I do. But then I look at your profile and you're wearing Masonic red and black. And you go around perping people. You want to talk about that I don't read the Bible or pray. But you you gang stalk. You participate in gang stalking people. So you know I'm almost broke now. I'm almost broke. And people deliberately choose to not understand. You know. But they want. They cry out for help and want people to understand them. And how are you going to tell someone get right with God when, when even if you're supposed to be targeted and then you act like an abusive narcissistic perp? But then you say, Candy, you need Xanax or, or you need Abilify. You don't get to diagnose me. How are you going to tell somebody to get right with God and pray, but then... You advocate for the um, pharmaceutical, um, pharmaceutical, post satanic potions. So um, yeah, they got so many double-minded people out here, and y'all call me the schizophrenic. <laughs> 